Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Uh, gap, or also we can call it generally accepted accounting principle. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, uh, we discussed regarding uh, quantitative, qualitative characteristics of accounting information. And on that video, we discussed regarding the understandability and comparability and so on. And also we said the accounting information should have those qualities uh, that we should, we should be able to compare data of one organization with another organization, data of one company with the previous year, and it should be understandable for everyone, right? So now, in support with that one, there are several accounting principles, which we can call generally accepted accounting principles, in order to make the accounting information understandable, in order to make the accounting information comparable, and so on. So now, first of all, let us define what is generally accepted accounting principles with several examples. First one, gap, it is mentioned gap. So gap means generally accepted accounting principle. Also, you can call it standards. So what is this one? In order to maintain uniformity and consistency in the accounting record throughout the world, certain rules and principles have been developed which are generally accepted by the accounting professions or known as what? As gap. See the point here? So the accountant professions thought that if different countries use different accounting principles and standards, finally, if they prepare the financial statement, it may not be understandable by the other countries, right? For example, the accounting report which are provided or which can be provided in Afghanistan may not be understandable by Pakistan. Or if the Pakistanis provide accounting information may not be understandable by us, they may not be understand that may not be understandable you know, in the United States, in UK, in several other countries. Why? Because each country has their own accounting principles. So what is the point? So there is a problem now. So what is the problem? The problem is that if different countries use different accounting standards, finally the result will be that you cannot compare the data of one country with another country. And of course, the accounting standard, which are the accounting report or informations which are provided are not understandable, right? Why we cannot understand? Why we cannot understand? Because we use different format, they use different format. We use different principle, they use different principle. So in order to avoid such problem in the accounting field, so the accounting professions came together and they have developed a common standards and that common standard should be, account, should be accepted by accounting throughout the world in order to bring uniformity and consistency. So that principles can be called as what? As gap. Now let me read it once again. In order to maintain uniformity and consistency in accounting record, two things. Number one, uniformity. So same thing should be applied by A country, B country, C country, and D country. And the next thing, the same thing should be continued for several number of years. Continuously, they have to use all those rules and regulations. So if this is so, so finally, in accounting record throughout the world, if all countries use the same thing, for this purpose, certain rules and principles have been developed in order to have uniform record, in order to have consistency in their accounting record. This set of rules and regulation can be called as what? As gap. All over on that for me. Accountant professional, Yakjushdan didn't call it. پاکستان یک قانون را تطبیق میکنه افغانستان دیگه قانون را تطبیق میکنه امریکا دیگه قانون را تطبیق میکنه و الان گفتی قابل درک به ما نیست گفت چی کنیم گفت بیاین که یک ست اف روز را جور میکنیم که انمی ست اف روز بعد از این بازگه بر کل اگه باید قابل قبول باشه یک قانون کل تطبیق کنه بعد از بعد ما میفهمیم که کدام کمپانی خوب پرفورمنس داده کدام کمپانی خوب پرفورمنس نداده درست است پس اونها یک جور شدن انمی یک سری قانون ها را یا پرنسپل ها را جور کردن یعنی می پرنسپل هایی که همه اکانتنگ پروفیشن ها ایره قبول کدد و جنرالی قبول کدن همه این نمیگیم که باز در بعدن بانده این که همه چیز قبول نکدن یعنی اکثریت ایره قبول کدن بخاطر از که در اکانتنگ ریکاردشان یونفارمیتی باید باشه ایتونه شو یک سال یک قانون دیگه سال دیگه قانون یک سال یک میتود سال دیگه در میتود Accounting reportation باید به شکل یونیفارم باشه از یک کمپانی با دیگه کمپانی با دیگه کمپانی با دیگه کمپانی این سیستم باید باشه 
و ای کمپانی این میتود اگر تعقیب کرد با چندین سال با چی بکنه؟ تعقیب بکنه. این می روز و قانونی که کل کمپانی ها تعقیب بکنه و همین سال ها تعقیب بکنن ای رو بانو میشید میکنه؟ بانو میگرد یاد میکنه. Right? GAP is basically developed or initially developed in the United States. But although there are other set of principles or rules which we can call it FIRA, IFRS, Internationally Financial Reporting Standards, so uh, this is basically developed in UK, right? United Kingdom. So this two set of rules are available in the world. One is developed by United States and the second one is developed by, by US, right? Uh, United States, and this is developed by United Kingdom or England, right? So this is also acceptable and this is also acceptable. In most of the cases, they are the same, but somehow, or in some cases, there are a little bit variation, uh, but they are working on that one to reduce that gap, right? So international uh, financial reporting standard, or also we can call, also the other one, which is developed in US, we have gap or generally accepted accounting principle. There are certain rules for gap, or several standards of the gap, uh, some of those examples are mentioned here. For example, this are the example. I have mentioned just five of them, which are very fundamental or basic, right? So now let us discuss each one one by one. The first one, the first principle, business entity concept. According to this concept, this is this is the meaning of the concept. This means that in accounting, the business and owner must be treated separately. Business entity concept says that. According to the rules of accounting, owner should be considered as a separate person and business should be considered as a separate person, right? So, why? Because according to the law, so business is an individual person and, of course, owner is an individual person. Business can be called as a legal person, shakse hukumi. An owner of the business can be called as a Natural person, shaksi, akiki, there is a modern shaks or in the in the case of business. Yaki shaksi akikis, yaki shaksi hukuki, there is a as negodi hukuki, you hook me, shaksula. Welcome shaksi chesaki. Ahmad, Mahmoud, your collision shaksoi akikisa. Your those person which are created by Allah, right? By God. On the other side, uh, we have legal persons, legal person means. Those persons which are created by law, by قانون. In any company, when they register, they are not the same as the law. They are not the same as the law. But the law is not the same as the law. But the law is not the same as the law. So, in any concept of accounting, always there should be a separate account for owner of the business and separate account for the business. It means you should not mix account of owner with account of business. Account of owner and account of business. You know, mix not. If you are the owner, you have to mix it. If you are the account, you mix it. Pass. Then you get what you mean. But for the owner of business, the owner account will be owner of account. What do you mean? You have to mix it. Then you get what you mean. Account of owner will be account of business. Account of which many business are. If one business is a business, you mix it. مصارفی که مربوط به آنر میشه باید اکانت آنر نشته شود مصارفی که مربوط به بزنس باشد اکانت بزنس باید نشته شود اوایدی که مربوط به آنر میشه آنر آنر امکان داره از ده ها جای برش آید به ادرس از امریکا یک کسی برش کم میکنه از یک جای دیگه از هر مثال دونیشن میشه برش یک مسائل دیگه اگه انکم از زراعت انکم داره مگر بزنس ای پس ای آیدا باید به خود آنر ریکارد شود و از طرف دیگه بزنس است که در بزنس ار آیده که داشتی باید از طرف خود بزنس رو باید مونجری کارت کنیم یعنی آید بزنس با آید آید آنر آید آنر با آید بزنس باید مکس نشه نه تنها که آید باید مصارف ها کلی چیز باید چیشه یک اکانت جدا برشون باید نگاه شد پاینت نمبر تو that is one concept the first one which is very important business entity concept separate account for owner and separate account for business money measurement concept according to this one Accounting records only those transactions which are expressed in terms of money. Even in the initial day, we discussed regarding financial transactions, right? We said there are two types of transactions, financial character transactions and non-financial character transactions. So according to this concept, only those transactions which are financial character transactions or those transactions which are expressed in terms of money can be recorded in the book of account. Otherwise, we cannot record it and this is very simple.
concept three cost concept according to this concept all transactions are recorded in the book of account at actual price involved right see the point here according to this concept if you recall if you want to record the transaction in the book of account that should be recorded at actual actual price involved for example if you want to record the transaction for purchasing a machine right for example you purchase a machine for 50,000 so that 50,000 should be recorded in the book of account doesn't matter for example how much you purchase and how much was in the market doesn't matter how much was in the market but how much you paid for that it should be recorded امکان داره یک جنس بفروشی یک کسی به جانت بزنه باید پینجا می فروختی چل فروختی چیزی که فروختی در اینجا باید چیشه ریکارد شد right? so the actual price should be involved how much you paid or how much you received that one should be, record, should be recorded not more than that as well as not less than that that is to be taken in your mind next concept is dual aspect concept according to this concept every transaction has two aspects these two aspects are receiving aspects and giving aspect. So these two aspects have to be recorded. See this one. According to this concept, for each transaction, there are two aspects. How many aspects? Two aspects. Receiving aspects and giving aspects. If we want to record in the accounting, so both of these aspects to be recorded in the book of account. We should not miss anyone. But our result, you purchase a computer. You give money and you receive computer, right? So giving aspect is cash and receiving aspect is what? Computer. But for example, you can buy a zamin a extra zamin a car. You can buy a car. You can buy a car. You can buy a car. So the transaction two aspect does. I'm giving aspect does. I'm cheating does. Receiving aspect does. So if you want to record this one in the book of account, so both of this aspect should be recorded, right? Or suppose Ahmad gave money to Mahmud, right? So who gives and who receives? So both of this one should be recorded in the book of account and that one can be called as well dual aspect concept and last one is accounting period concept the period of 12 months within which the performance of a business is measured is called accounting period so what is here if we want to record if we want to report for the business and to check the performance of the business for this one, a time manual is required or a time period is required so that this report should be for how many months, for how many days and so on. Generally, in the business, the period of 12 months is accepted for the purpose of showing or measuring the performance of the business. How many months is required? 12 months. So 12 months or we can say one year uh, and that 12 months or one year can be called as accounting period concept. Also, we can call it as financial financial year. Uh, or accounting period concept, financial year, fiscal year, different names are given for this one. This is so in all it is this. Zamone was the mo ke der jiyanj mo bad performance of business and show him amid was the more abana vichad megana accounting period concept. So you should not show your report for more than 12 months and less than 12 months. Eto nash vake. Yak business report jor kana ba dama. Bo annual report ma. Business daga jor kana ba 15 ma. Ma metene muqaisa kare mi do business sa? Ne. Chora ekhdari ki ba dama report da ba chan ma report da. Ba 14 ma. We can compare the performance of two business only if they provide their report for the same time period. So this is also for one year and this is also for one year. یک نفر میاد با تارم سوم میگه سالاری ما به در دو هزار دلار است. یک نفر دیگه میاد میگه سالاری ما ولی یک هزار دلار است. تو چه فکر میکنی؟ یه از کدامی زیاد است؟ تابیس میگه دی نفر دو هزاری چیه زیاد است؟ مگر بعدن خبر میشه یه آدم سالاری خود بر بر یک سال گفته که در یک سال سالاریم چند است؟ دو هزار است. یه آدم نگاره بعدن خبر میشه که سالاریش بر یک ماه یک هزار دلار است. با تو تابیس که سنجش میکنی یکی یک هزاری است که دو هزار ما باشه دو هزار دلار میشه درست؟ است؟ so the same way we have to show in the business. So in order to show the performance of the business, the period of 12 months to be accepted. And that one can be called as what? Accounting period concept. Thank you. And the last topic is uh, bookkeeping versus accounting. What is the difference between bookkeeping and accounting? You may re remember this definition, this steps of accounting. We said the step of identifying, recording, classify, summarize, analyze, and finally reporting. 
only this one step can be called as what as bookkeeping and all of them can be called as what as accounting so if someone tell you told you or ask you for example what are the difference between bookkeeping and accounting we have to say uh, bookkeeping is only the initial step of accounting and rest of the steps all of them are belong to it accounting or you can say for example out of several steps only one step can be called as well bookkeeping but accounting include all of them so you can say bookkeeping is a part of accounting so thank you so much uh, this was for end of chapter number one and for having more videos you can go in my youtube channel and if you like you can subscribe as well for the further videos